yesterday walking through Siem Reap today, I actually love the city. It reminds me a lot of Chiang Mai. Nothing like Phnom Penh, nothing like Siem Reap though. So all the big cities here in Cambodia have their own vibe. And uh, like I said, this is a lot like Chiang Mai. It's definitely livable. And uh, we're headed out to see what Angkor Wat has to offer. So the prices are right behind us. One day is 20 bucks, three days is 40 bucks, and uh, a week is 60 bucks. So like I said, if you're trying to go on the cheap, the best thing is to get here at night, get into the park, and then see the sunset, wake up the next morning real early, and, and come. So that's what we're going for. As soon as they open the gates, we'll, uh, we'll be into Angkor Wat. So begins the madness of Angkor Wat. sun setting and the light reflecting off of uh, Angkor Wat which is really good for pictures. The strange thing is everybody is on this side of the temple just watching the sun go down over the horizon and this is the only view that you get of Angkor Wat. It's very small in between trees that you get a view of Angkor Wat. And so, this crane. And of course you got a crane as well doing construction. So it's quite odd to me. Uh, what I, It was not what I was anticipating. I thought there was going to be this tremendous view of Angkor Wat with the sun really bouncing off of it. But it seems that the focus is more so on the sun actually setting over just the plains. Uh, and that's what everyone's focusing on. So still kind of confused with this whole Angkor Wat thing, but uh, we're taking it all in and we got about another, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes before the sun sets. the madness of Angkor Wat unfold. All right, we finally found a place with Cambodian priced food, not foreigner priced food. Uh, so I got some fried egg noodles, we got some fried rice with curry, uh, each of these meals was a dollar twenty-five. A beer is seventy-five cents. And we're right across the street from our hotel here, and we're right down the road from Pub Street. So you can go get anything you want on Pub Street here at CM Reap. Uh, anything from you know like a steak to tacos we had today, or you can get some local food, which is really cheap. And here's Brittany's Mama Soup which uh, again, it's like a, a dollar meal. So you can eat here for, for less than five bucks and it's really, really good food and really good portions. So like I said, we finally, we finally got local here in Cambodia. Here we have to use a flashlight camera to provide enough light to do this video. But we're almost into Angkor Wat, so we're excited to see the sunrise. 
and uh, we'll get some video. All right, well, we're here at the sunrise of Angkor Wat. It's uh, about six, what, 6.15 now maybe, no, or six o'clock, I guess. Yet. This place is a madhouse already, and basically what this consists of is a bunch of people with overly complex cameras all jamming to the front trying to take pictures of this temple at the sunrise. Not my forte, because I hate being around a bunch of people, but when in Rome, you gotta do it. Alright, we just uh, finished up watching the sunrise over Angkor Wat and the reflection into the water which is everyone is here for with the pictures. As you can see, it's a madhouse. Uh, we're about to make the hike up to the top of the temple. Uh, we did make the mistake of not getting a tour guide before we came in here because I thought they were just freely available and you actually have to book them outside. So we try to get one when we get on the outside but for now we're going to hike up to the top of Angkor Wat and see what it's all about. Instead of more temples. That's just my opinion. 